country leg locks. We started with Ashi Gorami. I highly recommend you keep consistent because this shit you might see it like in three years. It's in the past. I'm not pretending to be like this is uh, new. No, but you never have time to practice it. But everybody is doing leg locks. You have to know how to answer them, especially how to take their back. So before we start, we have we're just gonna start with uh, a simple introduction to outside Ashi. So every time when I teach guys uh, Ashi Garami on your back, I show you the inside position. Everything co cool with you? Okay. So we get here and we shoot an Ashi Garami, right? From Ashi Garami, we can transition to other attacks, other Ashis. That's why we call Ashi Garami the mother of all Ashis. From here, you can go to other Ashis. If you take your foot, the, se the secondary foot, and you walk it here, we call this one outside Ashi Garami. The foot is in the outside, your foot is in the outside. Okay? If this foot is here, by the way, this is 50-50. But for now, we're just going to talk about outside action. From here, one of the deadliest attacks is a heel hook. If I have him here, I can, I can do damage to his foot. Make sense? So one more time. If I'm here, Ashigarami. Just for me to make it understand positionally, if you take your foot and cross it, over your leg and hug the foot. If you keep it there, he can do toe hold on you. Yeah, he's gonna grab, yes, and he's gonna break you. But if you hold it here, try to reach it, it's hard. The moment he wants to reach, I can expose the heel and attack. Make sense? Just I want you to play with it. Doesn't mean, don't look for the heel hook now. Just get here. From Start, yeah, start from Ashi Garami. If you don't know how to uh, Ashi Garami, I'm here to help. But just take your foot, Close and heal him. This is Ash. Ash. I'm close on the knee. Try to escape now. And this foot is between you and you. Just play it. We're gonna go very fast. Three to one. Garami. I have an Ashi Garami. Guess what? We can have it here. So, some people prefer it when they shoot this one to put you here, and sometimes they lift to pass it to the 50-50. It's a very famous position, watch, stand up. Some people get here, they take this foot, they know you can defend the ashi, try to defend the ashi. I shoot it, I close. Now I can off balance in this way, or I can expose the heel. Actually, this is the third one. Forget about what I just said. Just we're gonna be here. For now, we're just gonna remind something. Uh, something here. I can get to the uh, uh, outside Ashi by closing it here and I, sh I hide my foot and I start going here and, and I'm, I can have immediate dangerous an ankle lock so when, uh, uh, a heel hook so when I start cranking he's gonna turn I end up in the outside Ashi just my foot is inside but it's, it's, it's exactly like this one make sense we're just gonna do that for now stand up turn on we're just gonna go and expose his heel his, his knee is turning inside this is the inside if i with from ashi i'm not gonna extend i'm just gonna pry his knee and i close the triangle okay now i have a heel if he if i can break him here if I'm strong here, I can break. Just think about sending his toes to his body. Guys, he doesn't have, yeah, it has a bad breath. We're not attacking the heel, actually. If you want to finish it, yeah. But close on the toes. The toes is your secret. If you send his toes to his butt, look. If you want to do it very dangerously, you can grab it here. Okay? But if I start to, to, to talking on the, my friend's foot, he's gonna go with the pressure. And turn, I'm gonna use my foot. I'm gonna look to the floor and I use. Turn, 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 turn. Boom. I end up here and I can break it. Make sense, guys? So we're just gonna do the same thing from a standing ashing. 
I'm just gonna turn his knee inward and then try to break his spot. So if I, I catch his knee relaxed, I'm just gonna point out, look, I open and I close. Just your foot from the outside, that's it, go back. This foot, the top primers, when I go, I close it here. To hold his knee, try to hold your knee, I'm scissoring with my knees. And I have an access to his foot. I can start talking him, but he's gonna turn on his back. I go with it, and I up, keep my hips up, and play with it, three to one. I'm taking this one secondary foot, and I'm, my balance matter. Try to off balance me, this foot is my gauge. Now, my knee matters too. If my knee goes inward, you know what's gonna happen to you. Bad knee. He's gonna do exactly the move he just you just did. If my open, if my knee opens up outward, I'm gonna fall. You yeah. feel? Everybody follows the story, right? So while I'm that, okay, go. I have to have this grip. And you see how I stiff my arm? I add this. So once I grip, I stiff my arm. Now I'm just gonna turn and I'm pushing down to feel my knee line. So I'm here. I'm gripping like so. Not like so. I'm here. Here, if you want to feel it outward, to do what we did last week. But this time, the moment he grips, I don't even let him settle. I'm here and I'm turning. Grab my heel, heel hook. No, no, heel hook. Okay, yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, go, go. Yeah. When you escape your knee line, when you escape it, especially here, grab, 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 grab the heel hook. Yeah. Try to break me here. He can't break you. The whole idea about leg lock defense is just escape your knee line. My knee line is free here, look. No? There's no control here. Now we're gonna do something new. Ah, uh, we did it in the past. I'm gonna kick, grab, grab my foot. I'm gonna kick it. Drop. And... Forward. You know what? One more time. The guy is so good, he wants to turn your knee and grab a heel hook right away. Yeah. Go. Okay. You're here. He wants to bounce you this way. That's what I want. But see, go. Look, look, look here. One second. These knees are above my knee line. If you pull your knee literally here, he has nothing. That's what we're doing, but we're doing it rotational. Here, yeah. stiff arm it. And turn. And pull your knee. Grab my heel. Yeah, he can catch me. I fucked up. So just retract into him. Bro. If you feel your knee is not retract, you can post your hands. Post your hands, push his foot, drop your knee to the floor, and hold it here. Now you know what to do. Expose. If you also, if you don't stand up here, he can turn just down. And now he's here. So you don't let the go back. When you go for the bolo, you have to stand up here. Catch the cat, the cat, shoot your hooks, and three to one. Listen, because of the theme of today is the outside ashy. Look, you can get to the outside ashy from ashy. Look, what we did the first one, remember? You take the secondary and you shoot this one. This is very strong because he can off balance me immediately here and he's attacking me with an ankle lock, a heel hook, or if he's advanced and he likes 50-50, he's just gonna off balance me, bring my foot to the other side, like just a foot. So you lift it and you put me here. Now when you take me down, it's immediately inside, deadly. So you don't wanna, you need to know how to defend this position. So at the moment you're in Ashi, he knows that you get to stop. He knows that you want to just go. It's not big brain. You catch it and you go. This guy is going to take you to stop you from there and you do outside ash. When you, you see this one, you take your hand, keep it in this pocket of the knee that is just out. 
and the other hand is the far hip. This is the near hip, the far hip. I'm just gonna lift and I do like a steering wheel. And I'm pointing my knee to the outside. Again, remember the principle of taking your knee away. We're doing that. Again, watch. I'm retracting my knee backwards, watch. And I'm lifting it here. So the moment here he gave me his back, that's so cool because you're immediately gonna attack the back toe. So catch the hip, take your knee inside, put your foot on the cap, have a seat belt, drop, now start attack. One more time. One more time. Get here. The moment he shoots this one, he blocks. There is no way you're gonna turn now. So if you turn, you're gonna give him. If I go here, so actually he put himself in check. He pinned himself. Catch, grab, and immediately lift him. Is pull your knee out. When he's like this, immediately shoot. Grab the hip, enter your knee. And now retract your foot to the calf. Now just grab a seat belt and roll to your shoulder. Put your hook and shoot. Three to one. 